Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a New Year's Eve like glam makeup look. I haven't done like full full glam in so long. I'm going to keep the skin full coverage. I really want to do some nice glitter on the eyes so I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette because I haven't actually used it in quite a while. We're going to put some big lashes on and we're just going to get right into it because I'm going to talk through the whole makeup tutorial. I really love tutorials like this and I haven't done one in so long so let's get started. As always I like to prep the skin. I'm going to use my Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. I've also already done my skincare but I just like this as like an extra little bit of hydration. And the fact that it has UV protection is just even better. Now for foundation today, I'm going to mix two because I really want the longevity that the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation gives me from Fenty. But I also want that nice natural bit of glow that um, I get from the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. So I'm actually going to mix the two. Plus the Armani is slightly too light and the Fenty is slightly too dark. So mixing them together will create like the perfect shade for me. I'm going to use my Oma Beauty sponge to blend that out. And please ignore the state of my hairline right now. I have literally this morning just dyed my hair all fresh for Christmas because it needed doing so bad, but I just wanted it to be like nice and fresh. This, this first layer I'd say is more on the medium coverage side, but I'm gonna add some more because I really want it to be nice and full coverage today. Alright, so now that we have our blank canvas, I want to go in and cream bronze. I don't really cream contour, I just like to use my Fenty cream bronzer. So that's what I'm going to go in with right now. So I'm going to go straight with a brush and just kind of bronze up that outer corner a little bit. And then the higher you use your bronzer on the cheekbone, the more lifted it looks on the face. I always like to layer my products if I'm going for full coverage. Um, this just makes it more long lasting as well because if you want it to last all night, just layer your cream products, set with powder and you are good to go. You won't have to do any touch ups. I'll just use the same bronzer to do my nose contour and I always connect that to my brow because when you do your eyeshadow, it just makes everything look like it connects together. Next I'm going to use my concealer. This is the Fenty Instant Retouch Concealer. I really, really am obsessed with Fenty complexion products. This is in the shade 200, so it's slightly lighter. It's quite a neutral shade. And I'm just popping this in other areas that I really want to highlight. And again, I'm going to use the same sponge to blend it out. I don't like to use too much concealer these days because I think that's where you can end up looking cakey. So just a little bit goes quite a long way because this one's really full coverage. And I also like to drag any excess onto the lid and then this acts as like your eyeshadow base. Alright, that already has just like transformed us. So next up I want to do a little bit of cream blush because um, I like to do all of my cream products first and then I'll go in and set everything. So I've been really obsessed with these Trini London products. They're like, they're all in these cute little like stackable packaging which is amazing and they're either lip products or face products or even eye products as well and I've really been enjoying their cream blushes. So this one I just need to like get it off the stack so I can tell you the name. This is Lady J, their lip to cheek, so you can use it on your lips and your cheeks. To be honest, all of their products, you can kind of mix and match and use for whatever you want. These products are super easy to use with your fingers as well, so you can just get your finger in there and warm it up a little bit. And I like to just apply that wherever I want it. And then I will go back to the brush that we used for our cream bronzer and just stipple that out. And it just gives a really nice seamless blend but can you see like the difference that just warms everything up so much these are the kind of products that I think if you're someone that just likes to do your makeup quick in a hurry like you don't even need to use the brush you can just use your finger these are like the perfect products for you plus they all stack together it's really like user friendly really easy to store like you don't need like a massive makeup bag they're easy to take on holiday and you can actually take them like in your handbag and stuff and just touch up throughout the day. They're just such nice products. 
I always just like to go over everything with my sponge. We are definitely looking full coverage. I'm gonna go in with my HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. If you haven't tried this powder, you need to. It's so flawless, it like blurs all your pores. If you're oily as well, it like keeps the oils at bay. I just absolutely love it. This is a Dose of Colours setting brush and it's really, really soft. And I will go in and set everything first. Just with a light amount of powder. You don't need to go crazy at first. Now what I'm going to do is actually go in with my sponge, pick up some of that powder and do a bit of baking underneath the eye. I only ever do this if I'm doing a full glam going out style makeup and when I tell you this does not budge. And what I'm actually going to do is keep this powder with me because when I do my eye makeup, because I'm going to be using glittery shades, I will bake underneath just so it will catch, out, catch any fallout if we do get it because a lot of the time I always get glitter fallout. For my powder, bronzer and blush, I'm going to use the same combo that I've been using pretty much every day since I've got them. And that's the Glowish um, Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder and then the Cheeky Vegan Blush in Healthy Peach, uh, also from Glowish. These products are like next level, so nice, so um, so smooth, like the bronzer never ever looks muddy and it's just such a beautiful colour. So I don't need very much because we've obviously already got the base down with the cream products but it kind of just sets everything. I'm just keeping my blush towards the back of like my cheek area. I think this actually looks a little bit more youthful and helps to like snatch your face a bit more. Now I want to keep this more on the matte side. I have like a natural glow going on and that's enough for me. I know it looks dramatic but it needs to be done. Just while I do my eyeshadow. Let's move on to the eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. Oh, it's such a gorgeous palette and there's so many beautiful shades in here. I'm going to go in with a transition shade um, called Radiate, which is this one right here. So pretty. Then I'm actually going to go straight in with the darkest shade in the palette and this is the shade Mantra. So this, oh, how would I describe the shade? It's like a dark cool tone brownie shade, that kind of thing almost like a light black. I know that kind of sounds strange, but it's a really cute shade. Just because I want to make this obviously a dramatic eye look and I always think a dark outer corner creates that kind of drama. I always like to pick up more of that transition color, go in with the fluffy brush afterwards, just to diffuse all those edges. And I, I'm going to make this really glam, but I don't want to make this a really difficult tutorial that's going to take you guys like so long to recreate. So I'm not going to do a cut crease or anything crazy like that. I'm kind of stuck on what shimmer shade I want to use. It's out of these two, so it's out of Blissful, which has reflex of like different colours. And then, is this Enchant? No, Energised. This is one that I've used before and I think this is my favourite shade in the entire palette because it's just so beautiful. I feel like the taupey one's probably going to go better with this look. So I'm just going to press this onto my lid. Oh my goodness. There is no other brand that has made shimmer shades like this, I'm sorry. But this is what I absolutely love Huda for. So what I'm going to do with the Blissful shade, the other shimmer shade that I wanted to use, I'm actually going to use that in my inner corner. With my lower lash line I'm going to go back to that Mantra shade. And this is a Jaclyn Hill JH43 brush, the one with Morphe. I'm actually just going to use this to shade really close to the lash line, just to make it nice and smoky. I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm going to use our transition colour, that Radiate shade. And I'm just going to use this to help blend out underneath and we want to make this really nice and smoky because it's more of a dramatic look. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of liner because I feel like it's just going to finish everything off. This is actually a new liner that I got from MAC. Um, 
it's the brush black brush stroke 24 hour liner i think it's one of their um like christmas edition things i'm gonna go in with a bit of mascara this is the lash to brow from trini london i'm just gonna use the mascara side For lashes I need the drama today so I'm going to go with tatty lashes because there is just nothing better. These are in the style TL6 so these are going to be nice and dramatic but still like have those kind of wispy ends. Right they are still drying but lashes are on. I think that's just, I think that's just what we needed. It's taking it to like that next level. Amber, Amber, leave the presents alone. My doggie's coming here and she's just, what are you doing? Honestly, when I was trying to wrap up like presents, she was walking all over the wrapping paper and ruining it, weren't you? But now that the eyes are done, we actually need to do something with the brows. Now, I have laminated and tinted my brows this week, so I don't really need to do too much to them. What's this brow boost and set gel from Nude Sticks? Maybe I'll try this, see what it's like. Um, I did order my Huda Beauty brow pencil and it still hasn't come, so currently waiting on that so I will use my Anastasia brow wiz instead I use the shade granite because I prefer a bit of a darker brow it's more cool tone um, ebony is just that little bit too warm I don't like my brows to be like too stuck upwards so this just helps make them look a bit more natural there we go I really see where I have gaps and that's where I'm going to add a little bit of pencil I've got three options here for lip. So the first one is Uncuffed Stunner Lip Paint from Fenty. This is obviously a matte and it's a little bit more of like a pinky toned nude. I also have another pinky nude here but this is, what one's this? The Cream Lipstick from Huda Beauty. So that could be a cute option. And then I have more of a, I'd say more of a brownie nude. This is, oh, what is this? The lip cream, vinyl lip cream in the shade Blossom from KVD Beauty, which is really beautiful as well. Ooh. I feel like I always use the vinyl lip cream, so let's go for the Fenty one. I actually don't know if we're even going to be able to do anything for New Year's Eve this year. I, like, not to be negative, but that just seems to be the way that it's going. I'm really hoping that we can, because um, me and my family normally do, like, a party on New Year's Eve with, like, friends and stuff, so... Keeping my fingers crossed, um, and this is definitely the kind of makeup, I think probably this exact makeup is what I would do, because I've got um, this nice like, long black dress. Um, so, I mean, hopefully we can still do it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are up to for New Year's. Do you like have a chilled one? Do you go out? Do you do something with like friends and family? Just not really a big fan of going out these days, um, and to go out on New Year's would be like so busy, and that's just, it's just not for me. I'm going to use this lip pencil, it's kind of like a dark pinky nude. I'm going to take my uncuffed stunner lip paint and I just am so obsessed with these um, liquid lips. They're my ultimate favourite. Now, this is a really lovely colour. I feel like I just want to lighten it a little bit in the centre, so I'm going to use this uh, Milani lipstick, this is my favourite, it's in the shade Pleasure, it's a matte lipstick, and it's like a pinky nude, so I'm going to pop that in the centre. Can you hear her barking again because she wants to leave? Are you okay? I'm honestly obsessed with this colour, it's one that I literally use every day. Right, let's sort out this hair. Right, so this is all the makeup, the hair done. Obviously, I would put on like a cute dress, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and I've just kept my hair straight, but kind of like curled the ends of my hair um, and curled this little like front piece here. Well, I say curled, I've like curled it inwards, if that makes sense, with the straightener. Um, so yeah, I, I'm i obsessed with this look. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments below if you like this look, if you are going to recreate it yourself. Obviously, you don't need to use this palette. You can use whatever palette you have, but just go for like a nice kind of, silvery taupey shade on the lid and oh my god I'm just so obsessed with this. 
if you like the video please make sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel leave a comment hit the notification bell you know all of that good stuff and i make two videos a week so i really look forward to seeing you guys in the next one and oh, is this going to be my last video of 2021 i think it is uh 2022 i've got so many exciting videos planned so i can't wait to film them i can't wait for you guys to see them and yeah have a great new year's you guys I, ho I hope you've had a great christmas and everything as well um but have a wonderful new year's and i will see you guys in 2022 bye